Uh, why am I playing this game again? <clears throat> oh, cool. We have somebody watching. Time to make dumb decisions. Uh, that stuff's on. Good to go. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Closing up them windows. And I like to keep that door open for the router. <clears throat> All right, bathroom lights on. Good. This is on locks. Keep the power room open. And keep the closet door open. Locked. Oh, I gotta shut my door. One sec. guess I already shut the door. Odd. Like my actual door in my room. <laughs> uh, already going insane and it's only night one. Locked. 
locked, and we are good to start having some quote-unquote fun. Okay, put that there, put the DMV database right there, we got the police records right next to it, social spies can be right there, we can put the sim DBs can be here, rootkit will be right underneath that, and debit card information there. Cool, step one. Kenneth Riley, male. There's been a white rundown looking van in Kenny's driveway since Sunday. It's leaking oil into the sidewalk. It smells like a restroom when I pass by it on my morning walks. I sent my husband Harold over to ask him to move the van since it's ruining the neighbor's jogging route. But he didn't answer the door despite us knowing he's home. I could see him through the big bay window on the front of his house. <clears throat> and I started to stink to the end of the street. Even the mulligans can smell it. I also heard from Lorraine that he's been working under the hood of the van late at night. I guess there's something wrong with it, and that's why he won't move it. Either way, it reeks to kingdom come. We all want it gone. Okay. Doesn't seem that terrifying. Age. 52. 60. 6 feet tall. 250 to 275. Gender is male. Hair color is black. Eyes are brown. There he is. No aliases. Kenneth Riley. Oh, my caps lock is on. That's obnoxious. <clears throat> I'll do some police record search as well. Nothing on social spot. We do have a police report. Responded to an anonymous call from Field, Fieldman's Donut Studio about a disturbance in the middle of the road. According to several eyewitnesses, a Caucasian man was seen assaulting a tow truck operator. The victim fled to the second floor of a mobile parking garage. Oh, the driver, blah, 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 blah. So he's in capacity for the week before. Security and handcuffs were Wow. Huh. Okay. Mr. Ball appeared frightened, confused, and only pressed charges of the violent nature of military hospital treatment. Attempted murder, assault, and battery. Damn. All right. Well, that's definitely evidence, potentially. So let's go check out his debit card for anything suspect. Higgs Corner Store, Bleach, Shop Vac, Shop Vac, Steam Pro, Air Freshener, Carpet Cleaner, 30-gallon trash bags, ice pick, and a, water, a bunch of water jugs. On its own, not bad, but still weird. Disposable camera, metal thumbtacks. Dog collar and dog chain? Okay, now nah, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> uh, let's go search for his phone. Alright, search history. Oil leak, carburetors, best stain remover, funeral parlor cleaning methods, pictures... Okay, random girl. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, he's into some weird shit. <laughs> oh, 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 man. All right. Text convos. Ball. Shut the van up and ready to go on. Murder Matt is the only reason I get up in the morning these days. I told you we need a new carburetor. I'm not a fucking mechanic. If you want to come and hose up the van, the am says, <laughs> This dude's a fucking bitch up, you know? He's got a buddy in my crease right now. Come over and slice a couple of pieces off it tonight. Yeah, yeah, this guy needs to get checked out. Police report and the text messages. Let's scan it. Yep, that was correct. He is suspect as shit. Uh, real quick, let's check the cams. Make sure we don't have anyone sneaking around in my yard. I'm uh, not seeing anybody. Cool. Uh, let's go and take a look around for any lights that have turned off. Because where there are lights turned off, there very well may be a window being unlocked. And I don't know if the two people that are watching right now have watched my previous scrutinized stream, but uh, or have ever seen the game before. <laughs> but uh, 
There's gonna be trying to there's gonna be a couple people gonna try to screw me over here while I'm getting my job done. It's not fun. Lady moved into my house across the street a couple months ago, and she hasn't said a word to anyone in the neighborhood. She has her lights on at all times of the night, and I never see her during the daytime. She gets all her groceries delivered, and I don't think I've seen the mailman leave her any mail before. A couple times a night, random cars will pull into her driveway. Whoever's in there just walks up to the door, goes in, comes out a few minutes later, and drives off. I don't know. It just seems suspicious to me. Yeah, she's probably a drug dealer. <laughs> 50 to 60. Ah, 50 to 60? Maybe. 5 foot 6. Uh, we'll do 150 to 175 pounds, female, brown, and brown, searching. Janet Hudson or Norma Metzger. So age, both fall in line there. Five, six closer, which is uh, a little heavier. I don't know. This is tough. That seems a little too high, though. What's the other one? Hmm. I'll leave this over to the side for now, but I feel like this is the one we want to search for first. So let's look for Norma Metzger. No police records. I can't wait to see my grandchildren soon. My house is almost presentable. Sincerely, Norma. Okay, that's interesting. This might be her then, because that sounds like she has a new house. Let's check her debit card. We should probably be seeing like her buying paint supplies or something. Barbed wire, wheel wire cutters, intimacy playset, lock shock, and love barrels. Oh, that's weird. Uh, baking soda. Baking soda, chicken tomatoes, broth, ramen, diet soda, flour. Uh, razor blades for ladies. Bike chain, padlock set, chicken wire. Anti-UV car cover set. All right, this is weird stuff in there, but nothing terrifying. Let's check her phone. All right, baking soda in bulk, Spanish translator, German translator. That's nothing. Pictures, it's really all grandma shit. Oh yeah, I, I did that. Text convos, Carlos. Thank you, partner. Who's this? I think you're wrong. Don't fuck me, Grant. I need it right now. I'm a bad spot. You know, okay. yeah, how rude! I've been in all my life. Where are you running? Man, I look like the fucking white star super muffins. What muffins? Blue sprinkles. White star. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Be here in two hours. You must know the price already. Whoa! Don't fuck me, Brad. If you try anything, I'll carve three new smiles into your face and neck. Wow! <laughs> I heard you bake good muffins. You twenty tonight. What kind of muffins do you like for your star? Super muffins with blue sprinkles. You can pick them up in an hour if you know that. If you know that, you must. Oh my God! Yeah, she's a drug dealer. Called it, and it just sounded like someone was at my door. I'm gonna scan this real quick and check cams. Definitely sounds like someone's in my house. That's not good. That's no bueno. Oh, shit. All right. No one's in the house. The light just switched off, which does happen from time to time because the circuits in this house suck. Cool. Come on. Let's just check the other two. Good. Good. All right. Flashlight off. Lights are still on. We've got two good reports already, but that's his night one type of stuff. Uh, close that. Clear that. New report. Mark McGinty. I worked in, uh, walked in on Miss McGinty after school alone with one of her students. She was on the floor, and her student was standing above her. When Miss McGinty stood up, she saw me in the doorway. I think it should say anything before Miss McGinty pleaded. It's not what it looks like. She's always said it was a dream come true that she reached her life goal of becoming a teacher. So part of me believes that I walked in at the perfect time to validate one of the worst conclusions. I'm not going to go ahead and forward this to the school board without finding more information about what happened. I guess that's fair. We do not know her age. We don't know her height. Do not know her weight. I know she's female. Blonde hair and green eyes. Mary McGinty. There she is. Mary McGinty. Nothing there. Nothing there. All right, let's check the debit card. 
Sahara.com. Yarn, yarn, knitting needle, cardigan eating pattern, advanced level. Okay. Vitamin D, sublingual liquid, peppermint candy. All right, so nothing. Let's check her phone just to make sure. <laughs> low blood sugar specimens, low blood sugar, vitamin deficiency, local doctor, walking clinics, cardigan pad, 100% cotton yarn. Yeah, maybe she's diabetic. The dude was trying to help. And check text convos. Oh, hello, Thomas. How did you get my number? I started giving it to me. I told her I was worried about you after today. Well, I appreciate your concern. I'm going to have to ask you to not text my phone number. I'll be fine. So tomorrow, I don't think there's anything that can... You fill out in class, I think it was wrong. I was going to have diabetes. Oh, yeah, she has diabetes. Oh, huh, look at that. So that's a shred. Just uh, misunderstanding. Yep, zero to five on the errors. We're looking good. Reach the quota. We got one more to go before we can go to bed. I'm just going to do a quick check around the house. Cameras first. Looking good. All right. Those lights are on. Let's go check the other rooms. Well, this one went off again. No one's there, though, so that's good. Bathroom usually is on. It's very rare it's ever off. All right. We're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, cool, cool. So what we'll do is we'll do this last report before I scan or reject it. I'm going to go double check the house one more time. I was standing outside on my front porch and I saw a well-dressed looking guy taking pictures of my neighbor's car in their house. He took photos of the license plates in the front door of the house. I watched him through my windows. He stood outside, talked on his phone for a minute. He was looking through the windows in the mail slot when suddenly he started yelling at somebody on the other end of the phone. He hung up, paced a bit on their porch, then got in his car and took off. The guy looked like some type of agent, a real proper type. Interesting, considering nothing ever happens in this small little town. All right. Age? Don't know. Height? Weight? Don't know. Definitely male. Hair color is brown. Don't know the eye color. Well, this is going to be awkward. Oh, we have his name, though. Giorgio's Halesos. I definitely butchered that name. That's okay. Sounds like he's Greek. Or Greek background. Georgios Lassos. There. There. Oh, I misspelt it, son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Georgios Lassos. No police record, but he does have. Uh, Social. I'm not for renovating a restaurant house all the state. Well, looking for house to buy, look no further. Going to my older property, check out the development, buying a new car, simply with a new found wealth. See that sideswept my brand new car, the damage you've done is worth more than your life. I'll find you since you decided to drive off and won't be pretty when we come face to face. Gonna go ahead and put that in there for now. That's a little awkward. No police record. Check the debit card. As the truck drives by. Jewelers. Diamond set, bridal, nice. Sterling lobster platters, three bottles of Paulo's of Chardonnay, two colors, double fudge cheesecake. Oh, this dude was having a great night. Let's check his phone. Oh, God. All right, real quick. I definitely heard something outside. Maybe it was by the window. Let's go look quickly. Yep. Oh, and the internet went out. Oh my god! What? He wasn't at the window! I... I looked at both windows and he wasn't there. I knew someone was near the house. Oh, dying on night one? Jesus. That's dumb. <clears throat> Volume warning, by the way, for headphone users. This gets loud, in, like, right now. Oh, wait, I turned it down a bit. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that sucked. All right. Round two. It's going so well. I made no mistakes. I had that one last report. Just had to look at the phone, make a decision. 
And then once that was done, I could check the house one more time, either shred or scan, and then we were done with night one. But no. Yeah, I know. Oh, excuse me. I don't think I've ever died on night one. That was awful. <sighs> okay. Cool. Lot. Lot. So I'm just get the kitchen first for some dumb reason. I didn't check there first, like I typically do. Uh, locked. And locked. He must have come through that window, because I definitely looked at that one. I quickly glanced at the other, but I don't think I've ever seen him over the sink before. I don't know. That was just messed up. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so the bolos. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. What is this again? Oh, yeah. This guy goes here. The police records went right here. Put the debit here, too. Save a bit more space. Social spy can go there. Root kit underneath. There. <clears throat> Hayden Lewis. Caught up with Hayden the other day after work to see where she was on the side project we are working on together. When I brought it up to her, she acted like it was the first time she had heard about it. Put it off as being tired from work and that we'd sit down for coffee and the time to go over it. I know Hayden pretty well and she despises coffee. I guess it could have just been a figure of speech. That she actually means she would get coffee herself. My especially comes from the fact that I know she has an identical twin named Amelia. But I've never met her before. Even if that was Amelia, not Hayden, why wouldn't she correct me when I clearly called her Hayden multiple times? A uh, little suspect, little suspect there. All right. 25, 35, heights unknown, weights unknown, female. Blonde, blue-eyed, Hayden Lewis. Oh, geez, she looks scary. Oh, she has an alias. All right, let's type that in first. Hayden Lewis, 89. She's definitely going to have a social, uh, social media account. Yep. And let's take a look. The loss of my beautiful sister, Amelia. We were inseparable. We were young. and Oh. She's dead. She was so happy to know that she loved, blah, blah, blah. Just look at how against my husband looks in the shop in his future. Oh, unless, of course, Hayden's actually dead <laughs> and her sister took over. Oh, that'd be so sketchy. <laughs> uh, I'm on to you, Amelia. Check those police records. Nothing. Debit card. Modern Kitchen is a chef knife, crossbody handbag, some Bordeaux, liquid bleach, and paper towels. All right. So I'm definitely falling into the realm of, like, this is sketchy. Hopefully her phone tells us something more. Purses, wine, net worth, Nicholas Bianchi. Hmm. The difference between murder and manslaughter? Is it easy to comms claim self-defense? How to claim someone's life insurance? Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I did that. Text convos. Okay, now it's going to the house. Oh god. No. I ran out. I don't know where we went. So we've been drinking. I'm sorry, sir. I just need some time to collect myself. Maybe he'll come back. Of course, hon. Nicholas. I guess what I'm saying is that you haven't seen quite some of them. Dead fucking sister. You're never very close. I know this isn't Hayden. I know this is you, Amelia. And you're an insensitive prick. You're crazy. We'll talk about more when you get home. Amelia, what did you do to Hayden? Yeah, I was right. <clears throat> Unless, of course, I'm about to get, like, completely side in here this is an error nope you're right all right cameras and everything here we go 
and outside. <clears throat> Lights are on there. I don't see them there. That's fine, like I figured. That's good. That's good. All right. Cool. Fix that one light. All right. So I walked in the bathroom of Club Creve and found a woman bent over the sink, scrubbing what looked like blood out of a rag. In her concentration, she must have heard me enter the bathroom because she kept murmuring, I can't be seen with this. Sitting in a stall, I started to get anxious about whether or not it was a good idea to leave with this strange lady a few feet between me and the exit. And it was during a few minutes, I heard another voice that wasn't the woman at the sink. Some kind of groaning coming from the end of the bathroom. I'm not sure if something happened before I entered the bathroom between the two women, but it was downright frightening enough to make me forget about having to go to the bathroom. So like an eternity, but it was probably only a few minutes before some more women came into the bathroom, to which I successfully made up my escape in that moment and didn't look back. Interesting. So female, 20 to 25. Five six. Weight is 115 pounds. We'll do 125. Brown and brown. Three choices. So we know it's between 20 and 25. Yep, we know it's five six. Okay, closer to this one and that one. 115 pounds. Oh yeah, this is it. This is, it's gonna be Peggy Donnelly for sure. The other ones weren't that close. Peggy Don oh, Donnelly. Copy, search, search, no police record, no social media, check the debit cards, hydrogen peroxide and bleach stain remover pen, okay. It would be nice if we had like a, something from the restaurant there, at a bar or whatever. Let's get the phone. How to get blood out of skirt because blood stained canvas. Nice. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, that's what happened. That's embarrassing. Oh, wrong button. All right. Before I do that, I'm checking to make sure no one comes running at me because that has happened before. And it sucks because this is definitely a shred job, but I can't shred it right now because... Let me get this opened. Um, I can't shred it because there's no internet. So, yeah. Now I get to sit here and wait till this thing goes. Oh, come on. So you can't move. Okay, there we go. I can finally move now because it finally finished. All right. Quick, one more time. Search down the hallways. Good, 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 good. Lights are on. Quick cam check. Definitely thought I saw something, but I didn't. Okay, that's definitely a shred job. She had an unfortunate accident. That sucks. I feel bad. Okay. Clifford Abbott. <clears throat> I was talking about taking some trash to the bin on the side of my house. And I heard my neighbor, Mrs. Abbott, screaming in pain. She's married to her new husband, Mr. Abbott, for a little over two months now. I talked to her sometime this past week, and she was going on and on about how smitten she was being a newlywed. Happy for her. I didn't want to ruin the conversation, but noticing the makeup wrinkling from her large smile. I had to say something. I asked her if she was trying to hide a bruise around her eyes. She got embarrassed. I realized that her makeup wasn't covering it. She told me it was just some stupid accident, nothing to be worried about. I could tell she wanted me to drop it, so I did. I hated to think that she uh, so the other night was the same interaction that caused her to get that bruise. I hope everything is okay. I really like the Abbots. Okay. So we've got a male. We don't know his age. We don't know his height. We don't know his weight. We don't know his eye color, but we know he's a redhead. Well, he's already suspect. Clifford, oh, it's Clifford, too. <laughs> he doesn't have red hair in that. Papa Simp 69er. Oh, my God. That that has to be the best alias in the game so far. <laughs> Papa Simp 69er. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Someone clip that. <laughs> 
Not in a good mood. I feel sad. I need someone or something to cheer me up. Not sure what I'm going to do, but being alone sucks. Had to have my last relationship. This is on the, on the third. Uh, it just wasn't going well, even though I tried as hard as I could. Of course, I found another lady I'm growing quite fond of, and she seems to really like me, too. Can't believe it. It's, it looks like the Nova Tusk was winning a landslide against the Thanks. So I scared would have thought that they would have won against the Cola. Nothing more about the wife, though. That's interesting. Clifford Abbott. You think he would have talked about that, but I guess not. No police record. He's got a couple debit card purchases. Massage oil. Me and you relax a couple. Satin face masks. Reusable cooling eye masks. Hard bath. They were bad. They were good. They were bad. So he likes books. Cool. Gas. Flower bouquet. Uh, food. Massage oil. Hot and cold pack. Bruise remedy gel. Oh boy. And this just looks like a bunch of stuff that he bought at like grocery shopping. Yeah. All right, nothing crazy there. Go figure it comes down to the phone. I had to check cameras one more time. I'm getting really creeped out. Okay, that's fine. I didn't hear the lights go out yet. Usually there's a little ting. But I haven't heard that yet. Thanks, Kevin, for quote for uh, clipping that. Flowers to my wife. How to keep my wife happy? Massages for migraines, cluster headaches, pressure points for headaches. How to be a great husband? Well, that looks all good. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Tax convos with Lila. Sam's news. to have a man like you. Thank you so much. I love your flowers. Whoa. Oh, well, Mrs. Abbott could be Lila. They didn't use their first name. The guy who did that stole my purse. Oh, yeah, it's that's a shred. Yep, cool. All right. Checking cams. I'm going to run around and check lights. So, yeah, it looks like someone tried stealing her purse. Oh, my God. Dude, seriously? That's two great night one starts. And then that shit happens, man. Oh. Baffling. Honestly baffling. I don't understand why he's so aggressive. Uh, all right. Well, I'll give it another go. Son of a bitch. Like, I haven't even seen Tanner yet. And I did not hear that goddamn light go. I didn't hear him digging around. So I'm going to turn this up a bit more. There we go. <sighs> All right. It's too bad. Like my first stream of this game, I made it to night three a few times. Uh, and honestly, the last time I got, there's a, there's a little bit of a glitch. You get insta-killed. And that sucked. But, like, I still ha I still did a good job of, like, playing, and I felt like I did well. And I feel like I'm doing well now, too. And I'm listening, and I did not hear any audio things that time. And I definitely did not, in the time before, I did, did not see him at the window. Because you typically can catch him at the window. You just flash your flashlight at him, and he runs away. And it's great. And you turn the light on so he goes away. But, yeah, it's not happening. Alright. Well. Time for... Oh, shit. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Time for some more fun. Yeah, email in Bolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like, we get it. Yeah, we get it, Sandy, the Jack Rabbit. Police records. We got debit card under here. I keep trying different things, but I think this one's good because I like to save the phone for last just because you have to change the name from name to an IMEI. I've known Isabella for a couple of years now, and she's always been the first one to start screaming when there's an argument. You know that tactic with the louder you are, the more right? I've heard that before. Anyway, anyway in her last fiery heat of rage, she was yelling at her boyfriend and tried to kill him. Or so her boyfriend Alex tells me. I was outside and saw him packing some things up and walked over. asked him if he was going to trip or something. He said he needed some time apart from Isabella. That he was going to a hotel for a week until things cooled down. This past triathlon of arguments was to really do a number on Alex's psyche to make him not feel safe in his own home. Kind of makes you think if the threat on his life was serious. Okay. 20 to 30. 5 foot 6. Uh... Wait, we don't know. Gender, female. Got brown hair. Green eyes. Isabella Rowland. Only one we have. Good. No alias. Isabella Roldan. Okay. No police record. We got social spy up and running. Y'all, when I say I don't like death, I mean it. I hit a squirrel saying I couldn't stop crying for a, an hour about the poor fluffy baby. Thank God for Alex keeping me calm. And then heartbroken, not even a month later. Okay. Paying to see me now dot com for service therapist three minute session. Uh, it sounds like she she's you know, has problems, but she knows that she has problems. But what does the phone say? Does he love me quiz? Track my device. Oh, that's a little sketchy. Pictures. That must be him. <laughs> Squirrel. Uh, let's go to Rachel first. Girl, you never know the hottest at the gym today. I scored his number. What about Alex? Aren't you seeing him right now? Oh, shut up. What Alex says? No, we'll kill him. Which I fucked up so big time. What happened? Uh, uh, one of the time with this other girl, when I told him I didn't like it, he got all nuts and blocked me, and he still didn't, won't talk to me. And I saw him today at the mall, and I just lost I know I lost it so bad, and went off on him, and now he'll never take me back. I don't know what to do. This other girl, he said, you talked to him about it, and he blocked you. It was the bitch from his work, Brittany. She hangs all over him. He needs to back him up. I went too far to see, but like 11, this bitch is like, okay, I know, break for this off. She's literally married. She never shuts up about her husband. Uh, Maybe it changed because he hung out with someone. Did you find that you're fucking making sound like it's my fault? It's not my fault. I'm damaged. It's not my fault that he was being super secret. Okay. 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 So she's definitely whacked. <laughs> uh, so she didn't really take a threat on his life I don't, I don't feel like there's a threat here like she's definitely crazy but no threat yeah thank you I've been on that side. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go check some shit. Alright, let's go look for him. I don't see him there. I don't see him there. Alright? Definitely not there. Like, unless there's a, some new bug that I just randomly hit, but I doubt it. They haven't had to update this game in a few months. Go do a check real quick. Oh, I did, Trevor. Don't you worry. But thank you. All right. 
25 to 30. I'm just going to start entering this shit in. I haven't read anything yet. <laughs> Female. Brown and brown. I'll read it now. <clears throat> Julie's a tenant of mine. She rents out one of the smaller houses they own in the neighborhood. Terrific gal. Pays on time. Really pleasant to speak to. And not at all bad to look at. But some weird things have been happening lately at the house. Listen, I own the place. I don't the case. Sometimes I want to make it broken. Sue me. Which I was taking count. In the pools of blood on the dining room table at the desk. Next day, clean. Sometimes I see Julie entering the house covered in bruises and cuts. The next day, gone. Sometimes I see pieces of skin scattered by coffee table and couch. The next day, it's like it was never there. I mean, what the fuck, right? I like the kid enough that I figured I should say something just in case she's in real trouble. Also, want too much damage to the house in case it gets worse. You know the drill. Um, that's really weird. Julie pees. Right? Julie pees. Or peasy, maybe. I don't know. Boom, boom, boom. No police records. There's that. Okay, start at the bottom. Ugh. Here's a pic from my most recent job. Gross. Oh, she might be a cosplayer. Oh, boy. Fake blood. Looking for some contact. Uh, horror SFX makeup. Oh, maybe the best shot. Carlos, but that's the best one yet. Our movie marathon, and then being too scared to walk around the house. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> That's funny. All uh, right. No scar wax, fi, blood, liquid latex. Yeah, she sounds like she's a special effects person. Chocolate bar and aspirin. That's, yeah, that sounds good. Whiskey and a side of fries. Nice. Uh, we'll double check the phone just to make sure. Because sometimes it looks one way, and then you just go scan, and you're like, oh, oh you're going to, you know, shred it and you're like oh this is not a shred job i failed <laughs> what happened <laughs> silicone molds that's what's all makeup best i make blood i make fake blood i know it's yep okay pictures makeup 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 mask carlos so i think my little thing is i'm a serial killer it was only another time so still fives still the time i guess i'm breaking to my place just for an excuse to you know something we do so that's what we blah 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 but people are falling for it. <laughs> Alright, guys, just too invasive and ask too many questions. So I've been crying, I just got a broken money, knows that they are really huh? Sorry, that's my fault. I want to miss the spot. Inspectional property, blah blah blah. Yeah, this is, it's her job. I know number. Yeah, yeah. This is a shred job. 100%. Yep. Cam time. Is Tanner actually doing a surgery today? That'd be outrageous. Alright. Let's get the flashlight on now. Nope. I just, like, started flashing in case he was there. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jesus. Nope, definitely not there. One more door to check, and we're good. All right. Everyone's lights are on. He wasn't at any of the windows. So that's good. Oh, and then you fucking go and do that. Son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll check everything on the way back up, too. Uh, so, I'm sitting here sma I'm like moving my mouse as fast as I can, left and right, up and down, and you can't move. It's just one of the features of the game. Well, <laughs> Fe features, that's funny. And it's terrifying. See, now we're good to go. So it makes you sit there and stare at it. It's no fun at all. Okay, good there. Good in the bathroom. Good in the side room. Lights are still on. Great. That could have gone a lot worse, so I'll take it. <clears throat> I was basically my nine-year-old niece recently, and her excitement to go to the park. She ran out of the house without me. I grabbed my things, immediately ran after her, but couldn't find her. For something like forever, I found her hiding in the park. I was fuming mad, but she ran up to me, crying. She said something about a strange man attacking a lady in the car. I tried to calm her down to figure out what happened. She said the lady was moving really slow, and the man punched her leg with an orange thing. Then he looked up and saw my niece and said, everything's going to be all right, little girl, after which she ran out of there and found me. I think it was probably some kids fooling around in the, in the back seat. I asked my niece where she saw this happen. She took me over to one of the parking lots, but said the car was gone. Eh, you know what? 
Okay, that's just a car. That never means anything. Um, you know, kids, kids say some darn things, you know? Worth looking into. Black hair, brown eyes. Yeah, don't know what the name is. Oh, <laughs> only one guy. Ronald Gijobi? I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Ronald Gijobi. It's the best way I can pronounce that. Okay. Blood will be shed for the sake of the truth and enlightenment. What? I understand that it is the fault of sheep for not knowing the way. We have tried to open you up, yet you refuse. You choose to live in darkness and will return it. All will soon understand the implications of living foul, dirty, and without morals. From dust to dust, or ash rather, the subhuman now knows its place as dirt beneath my feet. Uh, all of those look terrifying. Kids face paint assorted colors. Two-inch sewing needles, sewing thread, construction paper. Trench coat and skull cap. Chocolate cupcakes, peanuts, chicken cutlets, and two cans of cream corn. <laughs> Alright, yeah, go right to the phone on this one. I mean, I'm probably not going to use any of the social spy stuff, because if this guy's as nuts as I think he is, his phone's going to be loaded with evidence. Craft story, new CPR, babysitting tips for autistic children, safe activities for kids, how to administer epinephrine pen. Oh, God, was it an EpiPen and his social media is just weird as shit? And kids reading a book. Oh, God, I, I totally got the wrong image on this guy. Just trying to pass down all the scary stuff. You know, things for helping me recover my account the past. Old high school friends were really starting to think I was crazy. Oh, <laughs> about the park. I didn't think you and Mark still spoke. Oh, wow, I remember now. I was freaking out when Epi stopped breathing. I saw the girl shouted some nonsense at her. Probably scared her for life. So someone got into his social media. Orange and goes against her thighs. With... Yeah. Shut up, Mr. Owl. That's a shred job. That was an epinephrine. All right, well, I guess we're going to die again because I got three of these done. Oh, my God. You know, I'll do this first. Nope, I'm going to do the cam first. Got to do the cam first. Don't tell me I just messed that up. Please don't tell me I just messed that up. Okay, good. Go, 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 go. Come on, 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 come on. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. Last. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why is it that it's always the goddamn fucking Twitch noises that scare me the most? Son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Uh. Thank you for the follow, Corinne. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Going to go. <laughs> Hold on. You know what? I'm taking a minute. I need another beer after that. That was, that was some rough shit. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. All the rooms are good. You know, even I was late to the cam. No one was in cam. No one was hiding after sneaking past Cam. No lights are off. I was like, oh, I guess everything's Gucci. And <laughs> I enter the hallway and just, bring. It's like, oh, no, I'm dead from evil Twitch noise. Oh, my God. Okay. Mmm, that's a good beer. Okay. Sorry, sorry, we're going back to it, going back to it. One more report, one more report, and then we're done for the night, finally. There's a chick who keeps popping up on my porch. It's the strangest thing. She's real thin and somewhat tall. Dark hair, kind of sickly looking, so it just makes it all the freakier. The first time I start sitting on the front steps, I figured, whatever, it's probably some random kid in the second time. Yeah, I'm peckle timing again, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's looking through my windows. I was up and just staring the third time. She's standing by my front door with something curled in her hands. Which was just a weird shit to herself. She ran up when my wife turned on the porch light, but now we're scared of what she might do next time she pops up. We have a kid at home, you know. Uh, that's pretty, pretty weird. So I think she's between 20 and 25 years old, five and a half feet, probably 105 pounds. We'll do 100 to 125, female. You saw something move. Yeah, I bet you did. Um, brown, eye color, brown. Oh, it's three options. 
twenty to twenty five. Those match. Five foot six is good. Hundred hundred five pounds though. I think it's going to be Maria Al Alcantara. And if I'm wrong, sue me. Maria Alcantara. Actually, I'd much rather be sued than have to die on night one again. Look at that police report. Let's wait for Social Spy to finish up. I got everything. Oh, my goodness. That was a light. That was a light. Okay, quick. Cams, 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 cams. Boom, 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 boom. I don't see him. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. Come on! Thank you. Doing another search through the house. See, every once in a while, you hear that little click, and that little ding, and that's the light. He's not there. Oh. Okay. That was close. Because when the lights flick, because the light flickers because of the bad wiring in the house, and when that happens, the kidnapper shows up. So okay. All right, uh, smoking and possibly drinking upon arriving at the scene. It was the teeth covered in salt. Yeah, water on the fire pot. It was the smell of marijuana. The hell's that noise in the background? Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> so, yeah, this girl's just doing some dumb shit. So, she's high as fuck. Doing dumb shit. Uh, graduated. Got a kitty. A little sister. Some help. So, I'm going to the vet. Mom just called, little sis is missing, someone just snatched her in the middle of the night. She was like, I'm fucking losing it, my head hurts all the time, wish you were here. Found you? It's the house? Okay. Well, the internet went down, and someone's definitely trying to get into the house right now. Yeah, they only, she only says that the internet went down the very first time. After that, you're on your fucking own. So I thought I heard something. I just it must have been a dumb thing. But anyways, gotta do this. <clears throat> Top left hand corner of the screen on the monitor. When it goes from green to red, that's when the network goes out. So you have to be wary of that. Otherwise, if you try to search for something within that down, it just goes, eh, you can't see anything. Meh. And then you're like, oh, well, that was dumb. Cool. Grand. Just gonna react so quickly, and this is normal mode, mind you. Normal mode. Cindy's burgers, kids meal toy, whiskey, set of wings, whiskey, set of fries. Tim Tim Dean? Oh, I didn't realize I made whiskey. Steak knives. Multi-tool lock set. Disposable gloves. <laughs> Bowie knife. Oh, <laughs> yikes! And I'll hold that there. I'm gonna go do her phone. Again, this is the last one for the night, which is good, because I don't have to worry about time, because we have to be done by 4 a.m., and it's 2.16, 2.17 a.m., rather. Oh, fuck. Sometimes the twofers really screw with me. Cadsby, I'm sure you can't figure Missing person. This person claimed to be dead was actually alive. 12, 2. Okay. Kitty. Kitty, sister, house, bloody knife, <laughs> text combos. So I have to be some little sis. So I'll try to do the floor to me counts because you can get a babysit. Uh, you know, my mom's asked when it comes to taking care of Jenny to keep an eye on her. And I don't know if they'll have parents. She'll be fine as long as she has food. want to not come party. She's not a dog, but a dog not tonight. No, 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 no. It's the last minute. I promise you was. I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Yeah, they show the house. Hey, I just heard about Jenny. I'm so sorry. I know we're on a rough turn. So let me know. So that's weird. So she did end up going missing. Mom. What's going on? I can't find this. Mom, what the fuck? Have you been on a trip coming up? I was busy this week or two. We didn't really just get back from home. I used to work trips and answer. Just skip. Oh, conference. It's a confidence. I'm like, what? 
guys, this is Cops with the Team. It was a yes or no question. I if you basically don't want it, it just says it now. Actually, I'm sorry about this job I'm doing. This is what I did. I just the phone. Just see how it is. Is that with you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm coming back. I'm worried about how improved the bonus is. It's coming back to me. For Jenny, but I have some cool stuff to do. So she wants to think that that's the house. Let's uh, okay, decide what to do. Uh, probably fine. I did see something that made know what I need to do. The cops will find Jenny, bring her home. Jenny is gone. We've spoken about this. Right, just tell me where you are. I'll meet you. Maria, please answer me. So I'm going to get rid of the report and this, and I'm going to put in the therapist and the mom. That sounded like bushes. Um, I'm going to go check everything really quick before I do anything with that report because that's going to be the end of, the, of night one regardless if it's a good or not good. Not there. Cool. <gasps> what the fuck, man? All right, well now I'm just now I'm just fucking angry. Like how would he be in the hallway? He wasn't at the window at all. The kitchen light was on, the living room light was on. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It was stupid as fuck. Oh, oh, there's Tanner finally. All right, tell you what, tell you what. Hold on. Uh <sighs> We're gonna change the game. Uh, the question is is what are we gonna play? And you know what we're gonna do? We're going to do Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna try a new game. Haven't even started this one yet, and it's been on my uh, it's been on my <clears throat> desktop here for a while. What's your favorite sci-fi horror movie that's not Alien? <laughs> sci-fi horror movie that's not Alien. Hmm, it's a good question. Um, I won't say Predator because that would kind of be cheating. I guess I would say Event Horizon, just off the cusp. Like that one's, that one's outrageous. <clears throat> All right, preparing to launch this shit. Oh, this isn't even a full screen either. Awesome, that makes my life a little bit easier. Move this over here, because I need to get. Um, That's my number one, but Sarah won't watch it with me. She made it like one third of the way through it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's see, I want to make it like so that Dragon is barely visible. That's barely visible on my screen. Ooh. That's barely visible. Okay. Uh, settings. Hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Let me turn that down in my ear a little bit. That's kind of loud for me. Oh, yeah, I had full screen off by default. Okay, cool. Nice. Yes, tutorials. Yes, crosshair. Yes, hints, because I'm a fucking noob. Invert look, no. This is fine. Toggle crouch and run? Oh, I probably have to hold it instead. Left shift. All right. Grab, focus, throw, action, phone, pause. All right. Oh, this is the controller. Okay. I don't feel like getting my Xbox controller. I'll just use everything else. All right. New game. Click, click. Haha. <laughs> We're already fucked. By the way, they made a movie about this too. This is all like uh, 
some old lore from Thailand about knocking on the door twice and it wakes the the first one the first knock wakes her up the second knock kills you or something like that uh about a witch that lives in the house and people would knock on the door twice and then turn up dead within like a few hours to days they made some goofy movie on it that's free on demand somewhere and i watched it because i actually bought the game for like five bucks i'm like oh there's a movie on this shit too all right <clears throat> Oh, oh Lord, my phone. Leave me the fuck alone. Bro, you can't start off a game like that. Oh, there's no video? Oh shit, all right, hold on, my bad. I forgot to change it over, thank you. Boop, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> Uh, so, um, quick background, uh, I had the phone open, which, yeah, and I didn't say it now, it said, leave me the fuck alone, yeah, there it is, and something banged, pick up the candlestick to illuminate your way, uh, I don't see no candlestick, I see a fire, wait, oh, that's a magazine, oh, look at that, Achievement progress. I didn't even do anything. Focus. Read. Situated in the southern edge of the Welsh Valleys lies a stunning example of understated architecture. It took its style of form in the late 1700s as it's at its core. It's a medieval rectangular tower in an inner courtyard which connects the unusual layout of the building system, an entrance hall, drawing room, kitchen, breakfast room, and a games room. Attached to the rear of the house is a restored chapel which is currently being used as an art studio. The house is a grade two listed building and recently underwent a comprehensive renovation by the new owners, the Webb Thomas family. Great. Oops, sorry. Dude, really? I can throw pillows? Nice. This is pretty interactive. <laughs> I can just have fun doing this. Hope you guys didn't want any scares. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, can I throw it into the fire? Oh, boo. Damn. I want to start a house fire. That'd have been funny. Let me look at the. Can I look at the computer first? Oh. Oh, I have to use the, the wheel? Oh, no, left and right. Okay, I see. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, there has to be some type of candle somewhere. It doesn't tell me what I'm looking at. Oh, hold on. I just saw some flash over here. Oh! Alright. Can I, like, lean in there? Light the candle in the fire. Uh, Alright. It's a hard game, not D&D. &D. Shut up. <laughs> How do I, uh, E? No? Q? God damn. Crouch? Oh, if I crouch, but yeah, there it is. Ha ha! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Use the candle to light wall candles. Yo, stop. Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Not even ten fucking minutes into the game, and they have a bird fly at the fucking window? Someone tell Jeremy to fuck off. God damn it. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and now a door just opened. Uh, can I light some more can- I wouldn't light a candle. Where are the wall candles? Oh my god. Yep, I already hate this game. I hate it. I hate everything about it already. There we go. One. I'm not open. Two. I am not opening that up yet. Three. Four. Come on. Got any more in here? I'm fuck going to windows right now. Dude, there's none on this side. That's so weird. It's all on that side of the room. Anywho. 
I would love to hear the background origin of how the hell I got here in the first place, because this room is creepy as shit. Alright. I'm assuming I can leap now. Um, yep, I, I hate this. Who decides to live in this house by themselves is beyond... Why did you turn the power off? I hate you. I didn't turn the fucking power off. I just woke up. Something shiny over here. Let's read it. Chloe's Diary, October 10th, 2016. <laughs> Life expects me to just care like everything's okay. Well, it's not. I just wish she left me the fuck alone. She's trying to wow me with her fancy job and her big new house, but there's no hiding the truth. She abandoned me, and I can't stop hating her for that. We're strangers now. She's not fit to be a mother, and she'll probably just send me back to the home once she's tired of me. <laughs> the home. Behind... Shut up, sleeve. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just, uh, drop that. Yeah, there's no one behind me. Don't do that to me. Come on. Yeah, did I miss a uh, light, a candle back? No, I didn't. Okay. Do, 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 do. Alright, I don't want to go into another door yet until I get the rest of the hallway situated. This is, like, the perfectly dark game, too. Like, I can just see outlines of things. And, ooh. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. Alright, there we go. Turn that on. Dude, how many rooms are there? Can I just get, like, to an objective really quick? Or, you know, just get me to the jump scare. Because we haven't even seen the title screen yet. So my assumption is this is some kind of, like, really quick intro. And all this is is just to get me to get, like, here, we're going to scare you off the bat. Hope you don't mind. Uh. So, uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and read this. Okay, you can uh, you can just keep doing that, my friend. Oh, it's still going to keep going, too. The story behind award-winning artist and sculptor Jessica Webb Thomas. Inspiration can come from anywhere, from anything. Mine is driven by my relationship to this world and what I feel connected to. Since I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I was always playing with clay, but it wasn't until my teens that I found I had a true talent for sculpting. I still love it to this day. I'm fascinated by the bonds we make as humans. The strongest bond is between a mother and her baby. Was the hand of that painting of the old lady moving? Shut up, sleeve. Guys are being jerks. It's like coming from this corner. To the left. I guess I'll check down here first, because if you're gonna Oh! Oh no. Never mind. Just so many doors. That's locked. Okay. It sounds like it's over to my right. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this hallway just looks like shit. I don't. I don't want any part of this. It's getting louder. Okay. Oh, no. No. I don't need this in my life. Oh, oh I thought the music was getting quiet for whatever fucking reason. Oh, all right. We're going to further read. Department of Health and Social Services, Division of Child Welfare, 2nd September of 2016, Temporary Custody Order. Dear Mrs. Jessica Webb Thomas, please accept this letter as a form of agreement regarding Chloe and Webb. In the light of evidence provided with the consent of Chloe, we are happy to inform you that you are able to arrange a trial custody period with your daughter. Once the staging period has been agreed, we will send you a final letter of confirmation. Yours sincerely, Julia Andrews, Division of Child 
welfare. I almost said warfare. Child child warfare. That's something we need to do. It needs to be more child warfare. Come on. Alright. Why is it so... You know, it was bright as fucking day down here. And now it's like, nah, dog. Oh, I want to fucking go down there. Let me check this door first. It's locked. Yep. Great. Yeah, let's go figure out, you know, who was just knocking at the door. It looks like a dead broad. That's a good idea. Can I not open this? Oh, there we go. It just took a bit. Wait a minute. If I'm outside... Oh, God. Oh, oh, no. It's locked. Oh, oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Mm-mm. No, I'm not looking at the fucking window. You can suck a dick. No. There's no places to light things out here. I mean, I don't know how my candle's still lit. Oh, no, right there. Lanterns. Yes. Ooh, that was an ominous bass drop. I tell you what, I'm going to go back to the door and try to open it. It sounds like that's what it wants me to do. No, okay. Tab. You're going to dump me again, aren't you? You selfish bitch. Well, that's rude. So, is this dude just going to come and kill me as opposed to... Alright. Do I really need thunder and lightning in this game right now? The rain is good enough. Thank you. Oh, it's got the chills from that. Let's light up some more shit. I feel like I need to light like all these fucking candles in this game to get an achievement, so I might as well. If I die, I die, you know? Alright, that's locked. Another one. Another one. Yeah, either this intro is going to need to end, or... Killed. But I'm going to have to wrap up relatively soon. Got some company coming over. That's locked too? How the hell do I get out of here? Did I miss something? Like, I can't go against the wall here. No, there I can. Okay. I've lit everything up, from what I can tell. Is it something to do with this, uh, this thing here? I'm just not seeing because I'm not looking at the ground. No. It seems like the game is good enough to, like, highlight shit if you're looking at it. And this is the door I came in, and it's locked. You know, because doors just lock behind you all the time. God, this is dumb. Okay. And then this is locked. Yep. Can't do anything with that. Anyone just hear that old lady just gobbling behind me? I don't even know where that is. Bro, shivers. I got goosebumps. Still locked. Tell you what. If you guys share this, uh, my, my channel out to a bunch of people, um, and I reach 100 followers, I will buy a webcam so you can laugh at me even more. Bird seed. There's bird seed on the table. Uh, like, I'm not into, like, fuck. I'm not into, um, like, the back, the backseat gamer stuff. <laughs> but if someone has played this game before, 
Feel free to tell me which direction to walk into, because I am honestly at a loss. Like, I found that bird seed thinking that was important, and it wasn't. And I got here, and that... Why is it unlocked now? Oh, great. Dude, I can't see a thing. Alright, that's unlocked. Let me just take a look around the walls. Just look at my best shot at, like, surviving. Oh, you know what? I think it was just a straight shot to get back inside the house. Wait, what? Oh, I went back in. Okay, I see. Alright. So it is just a circular shot here. Cool. Oh, back in this hallway. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? Is that a book? Chloe's diary, October 2016. She dumped me all those years ago. Wait a minute, we already read this before. They threw it back at me? That's not good. What the? Oh no. Ah, uh, here comes a jump scare. Here comes a jump scare. Here comes a jump scare. Oh god. Oh god, just let me go. Please. I. Can I. Can I. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Where's the fire? I can't see anything. Oh my god, this is awful. This is. This is fucking hell. I literally cannot see a thing. Good. I'm glad it scared you, Kevin. I, I, I don't know where I am. Okay, here's a hallway. Here's a hallway. Is that it? Nope. What the fuck? Okay, there's a door. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Well, I'm gonna go relight my shit. And then probably get turned around and die. Wait, can I not? I can't open that? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Great. So someone's definitely hiding in here and they're like, I'm going to kill you, bitch. Oh, piano. That'll start playing shortly. I'm sure. God damn it all. I just wanted to relight my fucking candle, man. There's two walkways here, it looks like. There's more of another fire on the other... Okay, let me go in here first. Yellow? Yellow? Oh, it's a mirror. Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid. These are stair... It's a staircase that goes up, it looks like, but I'm not going in there. There has to be a way to open this. I guess not. Can I, like, throw something at the glass? Oh, wait, what's this? I just saw it. Right there. Just read it. Branch and Insider, October 12, 2016. Another child goes missing. Local boy is one of many children to go missing in recent weeks. He was last seen playing Knock Knock Run with his friends. And I definitely just heard something. Why is my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How did my... How does that lit again? That wasn't lit before. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> but, like, I didn't do that. What's this? Focus. Can I, like, open it? No? This isn't like Resident Evil? Alright, whatever. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> I just want to see if I could throw the owl at the glass just to really piss people off. Meh. Nope. Okay. Um, I'm assuming this door does not open. Nope. Not at all. There's not even a symbol for it. All right. Do I want to go down here or do I want to go upstairs? Ooh. All right. Well, it's locked, so I can't do that. 
Well, I guess we're going to go upstairs. That's the only other option that I have. Look at the candles. I'm not even really doing anything. You have to be up against a wall for it to work. Did the ghost just fart? That's locked. No, I don't like looking at windows. But I'm going to do it anyways. I was ready this time. I was ready. I was ready. Fucking try me. You can't you can't get me twice with the same gag. Come on. What's this? Ooh, methadone. Dissolve the tablets in at least 300 milli milliliters of water, orange juice, or other citrus flavored non alcoholic beverage. Allow the tablet to disperse and liquid drink immediately. Methadone. So, if I'm correct, isn't methadone, or maybe. Methadone's, uh. That's the shit that you take for if you're a uh, recovering heroin addict, right? That and sub or Suboxone. Huh, maybe she was a user. That's unfortunate. Or, well, I guess that's our character, right? So that's not good. <laughs> Where's all the music? I don't like this. There's no music. There's no rain. Just a clicking clock. And apparently I'm a vampire because I have no reflection. Come on, where's the candles I can light up? There's one. Why did that music just light up? Why does the music all of a sudden get crazy? Let's read this one. Another missing child. Nine-year-old boy. Four foot one. Hair color brown. Date missing. Monday, 10, October 2016. Is this game supposed to be what an overdose feels like? Uh, I mean, I don't know, but I, I'm honestly, I have goosebumps up and down my body, man. I'm not lying. <laughs> Last seen wearing a dark red jumper over a white t-shirt, blue jeans with white trainers. Information, please call this number. Uh, yep. Will do. Oh. Cool. So I didn't miss any of those. There's no lights back here? Seriously? It's just supposed to be a little corner piece. Oh. Oh. I guess I need a uh, key for that. I can hear Tater baying downstairs. Ba woo woo woo! Oh, I can't read it. Alright, the hand's not moving. <laughs> Any lights I can light up here? I can't see shit. I can see, but okay, here we go. Cool. Another one. Room by room. No, no, no. God damn it, it's locked. I can't open that up. Okay. Dumb picture. Grab this. Can I read this? You bet I can. Close your I had a dream last night after I mess. Oh, of course, October 31st, 2016. So four years ago to the date. Messing around with that ritual shit I found was exactly a dream where, like, I was leaving a memory. The scariest door appeared in front of me, had a goat head on it, which really creeped me out. The missing children, the ones from the news, were waiting just outside the door, and I'm shouting, don't knock the door. Two loud bangs, and I wake up in a puddle of sweat. I know it was just a dream, and that the Baba Yaga is nonsense, but it all felt so real. He's the one you called to kill the fucking boogeyman. Well, hate to tell you, John Wick's not going to help me in this game. I was a drug addict. I hate those words, but it's the truth. When I was really bad, I figured you were safer with someone else looking after you. I tried to get you back sooner, I really did, but they wouldn't let me. They said I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. I love you, Chloe. So, I'm almost positive that the movie that I watched is very similar to this type of setup. Which, hey, that's pretty cool. I like that they were looking to try to be, like, legitimate with the story. Jess and Chloe. Well, I can only see... What I think is Chloe there, and I guess Jess is right here, and that's probably our character's name. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna go to that. 
Um, can I? What the fuck? I guess I don't understand. Like, so it's click. Oh, see, it's it's so weird. Like, it doesn't want to. Oh, Memento's a good choice. Alright. This is like a walk-in closet? What? 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 No! no. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! Jesus. The fucking cell phone scared me. What the fuck is going on? Is someone else here? Um, Yeah, Chloe, I think someone else is here. What is that? Oh, rush. Oh, this is a, this is a, um, this is an achievement. Watch. Ready? Ha! Ha ha! If I break all the Russian dolls, it's an achievement. Hello? Anybody there? No? Good. You know what they should do? Is they should really build a... Oh, great. The door was open, too. She was definitely in here. I could hear it, like... <laughs> they gotta make a, uh, a Baba Duke game. What the fuck? Yeah, hold on the Baba Duke game, actually. that I don't want that right now. Thank you. Oh, my God. This is not going to be good. I can already tell. Fuck. <sighs> Seriously? What the? She's mine? Oh. Oh. That's not good. That's like... My daughter, bro. Yeah, I'm mad. So, uh, yeah. Lovely. Where's the end of the chapter? <laughs> uh, I'm like, I'm like at the edge of my seat here. Like, I need to get out of here. Justice Diary, October 20th. October 16th. I wish Ben was here. It's not the same when he's away. He's been my rock through all of this and so supportive of Chloe's custody case. He's right when he said you can't change the past. What matters is that I'm trying to do the right thing now. The scariest thing about having a child, it's not the pain of the sleepless nights, the love, and nobody prepares you for that. I love... Can you give me a minute, Baba Yaga? Jesus. I loved Chloe when she was born, when I was high, when I gave her up. Even when I was a thousand miles when I love her now, she's mine. And I'll never let anybody take her from me again. So she also used the term she's mine. That's interesting. As I knock something over. All right. Jesus Christ. I was not ready for that painting to be there. Is this a dead end? Oh, no, it's a door. Get. Did you just open the... Um... Chloe... What have you been up to in my office? Jesus. This isn't good. You know what's a good idea? Let's summon a demon. Yeah, I like that plan. Fucking children. Children. More bird seed. Do I have to, like, dump it out? Oh, that's cool. All right, listen. I, I it, It's not like it's a huge deal, but the, the fact that the game's that interactive that I can tip this thing over and Birdseed comes out, that's great. I, I really appreciate that. Now throw it. Huh. All right. I don't want to step in that circle. Let me just look around. I just feel like the second I step in that circle, this game's going to go haywire real fucking quick. Any more lights I can light up here? That's locked. No, nope, don't want to step in there. Nope. Uh, boxes in the way. I can't go that way. P 
pizza boxes everywhere. That door's locked. Uh, nothing here. Nothing there. Not stepping in it. Um. Nope. Mm -mm. I think I'll. I think I'd rather step in the circle and read that, because uh, that's definitely a person just standing there, and I don't think it's Chloe. Let's read it real quick before I die. Jessica Webb Thomas, Sapphire Award winner, 2016. Back, water from the well to cleanse the souls of the innocent she devours. Hold on. Oh, yikes. That is sketchy shit. All right, well, she's still there, so I feel like that's good news. I'm still going to get the shit scared out of me in a second here. Let's just approach. Let's get this over with. Oh, it's a sculpture. I mean, that's still scary as shit, Rob Thomas. <laughs> oh, Judas Priest, I like you. You remind me of the Rob Thomas. I like you. Oh, shaky baby. By the way, R.I.P. Sean Connery, man. That sucks. That dude was just something else. There's nothing to light on the walls? How do I get work done in here? I'm not touching that yet. That's definitely like a moving forward thing. Okay. Let's read this first. <laughs> Chloe hates me. I don't blame her. Trying to make up to her, trying to make her see that I'm not the same person who was unfit to look after all those years ago. Let them take her away from me was the hardest decision I could ever make, but it was the right one. I needed help. <sighs> one second, checking my phone. It says you're offline. I'm not offline, you liar. Whatever. Anywho. Sometimes you wouldn't know, and I can't sleep. I ache for another fix. Thank God I have my work to distract me. I spent hours last night in the studio working on my latest sculpture. I'm still not totally happy with the concept, but it's slowly getting there. I just wish the same could be said about my relationship with Chloe. All right, we're going to toss that. All right. I don't know why that made a noise after it hit the ground. Yeah, so I think... I'm going to have to go and touch that goblet thing, and I'm probably not going to like it. Oh, I have this random light on with some bag of trash. That's helpful. All right. Ugh. All right. What's uh, down here? What is that? What the fuck is it? Oh, it's a receipt. Stupid. All right. Well, let's go trigger the thing that's going to scare Tim. I can't grab it. Is there a button I can press to... Okay. Nice. Um, that's not good. That's this is not good. Uh, achievement unlocked. Congratulations! You've unlocked the rest of the game that will scare the shit out of you. Oh, literally got like the biggest oof when that thing started shooting water everywhere. I don't even know where to go. How does this game save? Like, I don't... Like, I... What? I heard a door. Why is it just sitting... Is that like a level? Two, three, four, five. I got one of the points. It's a goblet of some sort. I don't... I don't understand. Boy. 
Why are you doing this to me? I wish you were dead. Damn. <laughs> no. No. I... No. I do not need the sounds of children. God damn it. Stop locking doors on me, man. Alright. Wait, really? Oh! Oh, that is... That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Holding on to that for a second. <laughs> See, now they gave me a weapon. What the hell? Oh, it's the goat door. That must be the witch and the children. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What does that say? All right. See you later, Kev. I got to head out in a minute, too. Alright, so is it this button now? Oh, this button now? No! No! No, 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 I want you back. E is to spray. Alright. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is awful. Nope! What did I just do? Did I just, like, kill her or something? Or scare her away, maybe? Oh, it burns down the... This wall. That's interesting. How much this do I get? It's like a never-ending spray can. Go through there. That's cool. Oh, the light's out now. Shit. Can I go over here and relight it? No, I just definitely just fucking wasted it. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I could go anywhere else. I think it just worked long enough. So I could get this door to be visible and I can open it. Who is the one person that's watching right now, by the way? Please respond in chat. That would be helpful. Oh, great. Back out here again. Why are the lights off? I'm stuck. What the hell? There we go. That's still locked. Should be light over here. That's got that. That's still locked. Whoa! What the? Holy shit! Uh, alright. Um, sure. So real quick, I'm going to try something, because I don't know how this is going to save or not. <sighs> this is going to suck if I hit quit, and it's like, eh, you lost the entire gameplay. Maybe it's just like a continuous auto... Save, I don't know, exit to menu. I just pick back up where I left off. I just want to make sure.
Where the hell did it save me? Oh my gosh, all the way back there. Ugh. All right, whatever. Well, that's going to do it today, at least for now. I might be back on later. Uh, whoever is watching, being the one follow, uh, one watcher, which very well might be me. Let me see here. Uh, it still says one viewer, and I closed out my thing. Huh, well, anyways, whoever you are, thanks for joining. Uh, I'm going to bail now. Maybe it'll be on later. Who knows? Take it easy.